Let's make history. At this point, I think it's safe to say that most people grew up eating McDonald's. Even if you didn't eat it often, it was definitely a treat. Growing up during the summers, after we came from the pool, always hit up McDonald's. And so McDonald's was started by two brothers. Maurice was the older, Richard was the younger. They grew up in New Hampshire. Their parents were Irish. Their parents came from Ireland as kids. And they moved out to California when they were teenagers. And the father opened up a food stand. And as time went on, the brothers went into business. They opened up a restaurant. It was a drive or drive-in, but it didn't do too well. Drive-ins tend to get rowdy. It was a, a, a popular hangout for kids. And they revamped the whole idea and went to San Bernardino, California and opened up a restaurant where you didn't drive up, but you had to get out your car and walk up to the restaurant. And at first, it took a while to take off. Customers were thrown off like they thought somebody was going to come up to the car, like standard restaurants in California. But after a while, it became popular. People, rather than waiting in line in their car, they could just hop out, get their food and go. That was another feature that they offered was fast service. This thing took off and it wasn't even 10 years till they hit a million dollars. And by the way, that McDonald's in San Bernardino is now a museum. But then in 1953, they opened it up to be franchised. The first one was in Arizona and they caught the attention of a milkshake machine salesman named Ray Kroc and he was impressed by what they were doing. They wound up hiring him, but then after a while he became frustrated because he saw the potential how big McDonald's can be. The McDonald brothers, however, wanted to keep it a limited number of stores. They didn't really want to expand too much on the menu. And Ray Kroc got so frustrated being an enterprising person he was, he wound up buying McDonald's off of the brothers, including their name. Ray Kroc purchased it for about $3 million in 1961, which today that would be about $27 million. Maurice McDonald died of heart failure in 1971. He was 69 years old. And today is actually, his, would have been his birthday, 26 November, uh, 1902, he was born. May he rest in peace. And uh, Richard McDonald died in 98, also from heart failure. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button.